Home Minister Amit Shah today said he is hopeful that soon Central Reserve Police Force CRPF won't be required in Northeast, Jammu and Kashmir and Naxal affected areas in the coming years. Shah added that the CRPF has played an indispensable role in maintaining internal security in these areas. Shah was addressing CRPF's 83rd Raising Day Parade in Jammu. Japan's Prime Minister Fumio Kishara arrived in Delhi today for his two-day visit and was welcomed by Union Railways Minister Ashwini Vaishnav. He is scheduled to participate in the 14th India-Japan Annual Summit and hold bilateral talks with Prime Minister Narendra Modi. This is Kishida's first visit to India after taking office last year and his first meeting with Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Rajya Sabha Member of Parliament Ripun Bora and Kerala Pradesh Mahila Congress President J.B. Mathair have been named as the Congress candidates for the biennial elections to Rajya Sabha from Assam and Kerala respectively. Bora was first elected to the Upper House in March 2016, while Mathair has never been elected yet. The candidatures were approved by Congress President Sonia Gandhi. Congress leader Sashi Tharoor today while sharing a Facebook post about Vivek Agnihotri's film The Kashmir Files on Twitter said Kashmiri Pandits have suffered terribly but demonizing Kashmiri Muslims doesn't help the Pandits either. Hatred divides and kills. Kashmiris need justice. All need to be heard, helped and healed, Tharoor added. Indian firms may replace Western pharmaceutical companies leaving the Russian market over Ukraine war. Russian envoy to India, Denis Alipov, told the Rossiya 24 broadcaster. The newly appointed Russian envoy added that India is a world pharmacy. Earlier this month, Alipov had said that Moscow welcomed the independent foreign policy of India amid the Russian-Ukraine conflict. At least 112 children have been killed in the war in Ukraine so far. The Ukrainian Prosecutor General's office said today, around 140 children have been injured, it added. Scores of empty strollers were lined up in the central square of Lviv city to commemorate the children killed in the country since Russia's invasion. Australia chased down a 278-run target against India to record the highest successful run chase in Women's World Cup history today. The previous highest successful run chase in Women's World Cups had come in 2017 when Australia chased down a 258-run target against Sri Lanka. Australia has won each of their five 2022 Women's World Cup matches so far.